This is Comic Picks by the Glick. Yeah, I'm your host, Jason Glick. Jason, what do you have on tap for us today? Hey, well, you know, we know we talked about like a Robert Kirkman series last time with the start of the Energon universe, Void Rivals. And uh, turns out we're not done with talking about Kirkman because dude is prolific. Dude loves writing like, you know, more comic book series. Dude is like, you know, consistently dedicated to um, following up the success he got with um, Invincible and, and especially The Walking Dead. So... And 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 I, res- and I definitely respect that. You know, it's like I appreciate the fact that you know he's, you know, not not wanting to, like to show that you know he was like only good for like these two series. That he's got you know like you know more series in him like at at this point. And while I know that you know that uh, you know, Void Rivals has gotten like you know multiple reprintings like as as we speak, and you know that first volume was all right. I still respect the fact that he's continuing to try and. You know, like do new series to um follow, try and follow up on this. It's, it's that success. I mean, first we got um like Outcast, his like you know possession series, which ran ran for eight volumes. Then we got um, oh, what was it? Oh, um, Oblivion Song, like his uh you know alien alien invasion um series that ran for ran for six volumes, and you know also like um die die die, you know his. You know, whatever the hell it was, series with um Chris Burnham and like Walking Dead showrunner um Scott Gimple that ran for two volumes that you know was surprise launched and like like in it in its own way and you know that was fine but you know and like I said I, I appreciate the fact that Kirkman is continuing to try and find like new ways to succeed and all and then you've got like this series um which is called which is called Firepower basically it's his effort to take take on like the uh mar- like um fantasy martial martial arts um genre that you know had a uh, you know like in, in had an interesting like you know start to it basically where some series you know basically you know do dudes like first first six issues as it's like its first first um volume basically like, you're showing you hey you know this is what we're going to do for like our series but you know like our whole setup is like contained in like you know this first volume well Kirkman and artist um Chris Chris Samney, co-creator Chris Samney, um basically decided, hey, you know, we're going to like do like the whole like first first issue as a first volume. Cause hey, you know, this first volume was entitled is entitled Prelude. And basically it's all about one guy, like Owen, it's like Owen, Owen Johnson, who has like learned all he can from the martial arts masters like of the world that that we know. And so he's, you know, determined, like, you find out what else do I have to learn? And so he's, we're introduced to him in the first few pages, like, you know, just climbing through the, uh, like, like, I, like, I, I, I see wastelands of, of Tibet or just, you know, whatever place that, you know, this, the series is set, because it's never explicitly specified, but he's, we're showing him like as a, a determined character who's just like, you know, wants to learn more about his martial arts and like showing him just like you know just cr- just climbing these mountains and coming to the uh, temple of the of the flaming fist basically this is the place where like you know all of the uh like all the masters that he sought to learn from in the world below were trained by its master um Wei Lun and when um he finally gets to this place uh he, me- he meets Wei-, Wei Lun and um Wei Lun is just basically saying hey you know show me what you've learned like I, I don't care. You climbed up here, like at like at that great cost to your phys- to your personal like to your personal um, stature. It's like you know, and that that's what we get. We get here. It's like you know, you have a uh, initial initial fight where Owen like you know fights fights Wei Lu and convinces him that you know hey he's learned enough to uh, like 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 to uh, to be entitled to a sp- space to learn here and. And this, and then you get like the business as usual for this first volume, showing you, showing us that you know, hey, gets to learn from from Master Wei Lun, gets his own rival in uh, Ma Guang, um, meets um, a potential love it, love love interest in um, Le, um, Le Zan, and um, it's it's like it, it, and it's fun. It's like it's it's all it's all fine. It's all business as usual. It's showing like, hey, it's like an like an like an av- like an average guy. Basically, an, like an Asian American guy. I mean, this isn't a uh, you know um, Iron Fist type situation where it's like you know like 
like this white this white dude shows you that you know hey he's as good as like you know these other like um like minorities at learning uh, martial arts no this is a uh asian american who is like trying to you know who's like you know learned all he can from the world below and is trying to like show you what he can what he can what he can learn here and this first and the this first volume is is generally pretty pretty fun in the sense that it it, it has like a good sense good sense of humor about but Owen like learning um like um from from um Wei Wei Lun and they're just and Wei Lun's just you know like uh smart ass streak like in terms of like you know hey say talking about hey hey yo like relationships between like you know like students forbidden it's like and oh hey you know he got like the latest um like um Jordans like those are cool it's like oh my god wait Radiohead they're they're still doing um music that's pretty cool too it's like and it just like I said, it's 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 a fun it's a fun like I'm um, set up here, and then you get the uh, um the, the the conflict with the um with what are apparently meant to be the main antagonists of the series, the uh, like um people followers of the scorched earth um school school of martial arts who are pit who it's like who are trying to uh, you know as we were told uh, you know like um attack like destroy the uh, like um temple of the flaming fist because you know hey like they're you know they're 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 the bad guys. They're like Flame Fist is the the good guys, and apparently there's like a dragon that um the uh, Flaming Fist are meant to be protecting and all. And also, it turns out that there's a uh, like um t- like legendary technique known as the Fire Power that um that Wei Lun has been um trying to uh, learn for for decades, but just hasn't worked out. But maybe just maybe um Owen is the guy to learn it. Well. This first volume, like you know, does a good job of setting up like all this, like all this setup and backstory, and it's and and it's good fun. It's like out of all of the uh, like series that you know Kirkman has like you know done, you know, post um, Invincible and post Walk- Walking Dead, this really had the uh, potential to be like the most the most fun. And overall, I think it does kind of achieve this, even though there are some bumps. Like as things as things go on, because all well, the first because because the big twist at the end of the first volume is that it jumps fifteen years after um, Owen's first encounter in the uh, Temple of the Flaming Fist to to basically a point of um like domesticity where like he's you know learned the firepower and he's you know got he has he's got a wife he's got two kids who are just you know like you know. You know, just like normal kids in the grand scheme of things, and the uh, the series basically kind of like finds itself split into two parts from this point because it's six volumes total, and the first three, you know, the first remember the first volume isn't like six issues; it's basically one volume, and then the uh, two volumes or the twelve issues that follow basically set up you know the uh, like you know what what happens what happens next. Basically, like Owen finds out that you know, hey, like when he but when he left, you know, it's like like he, he had he had issues, but he realized that you know this is not what I, what I wanted, and that the one um person who like he thought that was going to be his true love, Lazan, well she she died, and that and, and that was that. So, but then he finds out that you know like things have like changed, and it turns out that um Wei Lun has now defected to the uh, like Temple of the Scorched Earth, and it turns out that you know, hey, that that his um Temple of the Flaming Fist wasn't actually like, meant to be um, the wasn't actually meant to be like you know like um well they were meant to be protecting the dragon but not for the uh, reasons that he thought they were and it turns out that you know this dragon well it's actually a thing it's like a, a real dragon that's uh, you know meant to be, meant to be destroying the earth and that everything he thought he knew wasn't um like wasn't the way it actually turned out and that's kind of a uh you know fairly standard you know comic books comic type thing like you know hey you know it's like you know you thought you're meant to be protecting drag the dragon no turned out the dragon was you destroying everything and that you know like the people you thought were the uh were the good good guys are actually the bad guys and it's like whoa mind blown so that's that that's fine but but um what i think like you know the series like um does does a good job of compared to like Kirkman's other 
um like post um like Walking Dead and Invincible series. Yeah, I'm that's like obviously the, the standard I'm going by here because dude um like got lightning to strike not once but twice in his creator owned work. And I like I said I really respect the fact that he's continuing to find ways to like you know keep so that he that it wasn't just you know like a fluke that you know he can keep you know turning out hit series. But you know, with firepower, it's like it's basically like you know the series is basically like you know split into two two parts. The first first half being um, the uh, like the whole revelation that you know, hey, like that Owen wasn't um, like was wasn't fighting for the people he thought were the were the right people, and then after that, you know, like hey, like you know, here are the uh, real like you know threats here, and I don't think that you know like. And I guess like the real problem I have with with this is that you know, well, Kirkman showed like a great like awareness of like um convention and like like of, of, of like expected like superhero and genre conventions with The Walking Dead and Invincible. You know, he he hasn't really like you know like displayed that you know that like, the guy has same awareness with his follow up series with um. With um, it's like with with firepower. I mean, yeah, it's like you've got like, oh, hey, you know, it turns out the the good guys were the bad guys and all. It's like, I mean, that's fine, but then you get um, you get that um, that kind of like you know, it kind of feels like you know, pro pro formula with like with with this. And I will say that he does have some some clever insights, such as when um Owen's um wife. Um, finds out that you know, hey, you know, it's like when when they're talking about like, hey, how do you feel about you know, like your, uh, it's like your original your old girlfriend, the one who died, like for like um, for unspecified reasons. It's like, and he basically talks about like the fact that hey, you know, it's like I I know that, but at the same time though, like, you know, she is like the person who uh, like who I never had like a chance to like you know get to know, like someone who was always going to be like you know perfect in my head but someone who i never had to like you know have a child with someone who i never had to like you know like you know get a marriage certificate with someone who i never had to like you know take take my kids to the hospital in the middle of the night with that kind of thing that's that's kind of clever and i like it's like and i like that and i like that kind of like you know superhero domesticity that he gives that he gives with this series it's like especially in its in its first half and well, like, you know, the first half of the series is pretty, pretty solid in the sense that, like, it gives you, like, a fairly standard, hey, you know, it's like everyone you thought was um, good was bad. Um, it's like, and um, Owen and Wei Lun has to, like, you know, fight against that. You know, that's that's perfectly fine. Then you get to the back half of um, the series, which volumes four through six, and um, it turns out that, hey, uh, it's like, the uh, that turns out this whole like you know dragon is real thing. It's like and now like 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 oh like Owen and his and his family and other people have to like you know fight fight against this. This is you know kind of crazy. It's like I wouldn't say that it's you know set up particular particularly well, particularly in volume five when we start getting to know all the like old ma masters that um that Owen fought under. And um, we're just told, like, hey, you know, he fought against them, and now we're going to recruit them as, like, as the uh, fight as the fighters for this, um, like, for this next arc. And you no, know, it doesn't work out, like, you know, pretty well, especially in Volume Five, when, um, like, like a lot of them, like, a lot of these new masters are just like revealed to have, you know, the like, fairly um, one-dimensional, you know, you know, personalities. It's like. And um, Owen is just like you know shown to have a uh, it's like hey he's mastered this like you know specific technique that you know like gives him like some like margin of error against the uh, the dragon and his and his like um like some like main um it's like it's like main uh, ad advocate um Master Shaw it's like hey it's like you know you can fight against him but oh we've got to like you know like like um de decamp because you know like we're not just like you know we're not able to fight against him it's like and we can't have like the uh it's like like the climax of the series just yet especially when it's revealed at the very end of the volume that um Wei Lun 
come killed um like owen's parents big shock yeah i know it's like it's kind of it's kind of crazy and yeah i think that you know volume five is kind of like the low point of the series and because it's basically like you know like sets up a lot of big stuff but doesn't actually like you know pay off on it and i was and and that was like you know surprised that hey you know volume um six like it's the fin finale so what are we gonna do here what are we going to do for the uh big um climax of this um fantasy martial arts series and well kirkman actually does um do some like nice 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 twists here basically from um what's going to be a, a big fight between um Wei, Wei Lun and owen in terms of like you know hey like Wei Lun you know killed his parents but owen Dupsey says no tell me what happened like use your words tell me talk talk to me about this and i like that you know it's like just hey you know let's talk about like something like like adults here and maybe maybe that's just me growing old as a person but i appreciate the fact that you know like they actually wanted to talk about this and it also leads into like probably the uh volume's best revelation in the sense that you know like um the the use of the fire of the firepower well Owen is like revealed early on to be like someone who's like, who mastered this, you know, ability to just, you know, like shoot flames from his fists. Well, like it turns out that um, he's that, you know, like the ability to like, you know, utilize the power power isn't, you know, specific to him. It's just about like how, like how you can tune in to the emotions like in your, it's like, 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 like in your heart. It's like yeah, and this is something that you know he, that Owen can use, that um his kids can use, that his wife can use, and as we're eventually shown that um Wei Lun can tap into as well through his specific feelings of regret. I liked how um like how this was like shown how it wasn't just you know like hey you know it's like like Owen is like the chosen one and he's the only one who can do this. No, it's like anyone can use this. It's just that. Owen is like knows how to tap into to like the emotional spectrum like afforded by this by this ability of the best. And that's what makes him the cho chosen one. I like like I like this, and I liked how the uh, how um Kirkman and Samney um you know like use use this in the uh, like over the course the course of the volume, specifically in like a one particular issue where um Owen's son Doug is like talking about how he's you know writing letters to his granddad. And about like about how you know what, what what like what they were doing and how it's basically portrayed as as a series of splash pages, basically like you know either like single page splashes or double page splashes, as they're trying to fight the dragon, like as they as they fight their way back back to the United States. It's it's a big homage to um, Walt Simonson's um, all splash page issue of um like of Thor back back in the day and it works really well is that it does a good job of getting getting across a lot of information in a um, fairly compact um like um like um sp very compact space and it's like and how it um actually like make communicates like the emotion of their of their struggle as well particularly when you find out just what happens to um the person that doug is writing to it's like at, at the end of the day and it's like in it's like and in the end, you know, yeah, good triumphs over over evil. It's like you know, our heroes triumph over the, uh, like, like, like over, over the dragon. But I'm 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 fine with like you know, how things played out in a fairly con conventional way, and it's like, and it did did a good job of like conveying the emotion of their of their struggle as well, because compared to like. All of Kirkman's other, you know, post Invincible Walking Dead series, this is easily the, the most fun. You know, it like it manages like a nice um, sense of like um, of domesticity in terms of like you know just you know like people like regular people learning learning martial arts and like you know just fa a family you know just you know managing their own their own business in the sense of it like, in the wake of like you know a really crazy like you know fa fantasy struggle. And it's like, and, and the humor is like, you know, pretty, like it's handled pr pretty well, well as well. It's like, it's, it's good fun. It's entertaining. 
And even if it doesn't offer like any like you know, I guess like you know, really like you know, shocking surprises compared to um, his previous creator on, on Triumphs, it's like it it's it's over, it's entertaining overall. And considering how I was like really concerned for how this was going to wrap up after Volume Five, Volume Six does um, deliver this like a uh, like a satisfying wrap to the series. It's like. Like over, like um, overall, it's like in, in the end. So, like, like this is like a a, a solid six volume series, and it's like I don't know uh, how and how um like they're going to be repacking repackaging this in future volumes, but you know it's like if they do a uh, like an all in one like, you know one like six volumes in one volume type thing, then yeah, it's like it's worth picking up. Or you know, hey, if they do two uh three vol three in one collections then that'd be worth picking up as well because like kirkman writes you know like fun like fun family family dynamics with with owen and his and his family and um chris Samney does really it's like it's like really good um de detailed martial arts fantasy action here it's like just like really good easy to follow follow stuff like you know like when the characters it's like in, in terms of in terms of their storytelling, it's like and just you know just watching that you know people like these people like you know like like fling their fling their fireballs or fight like you know like fling their fists as well. It's like it's like it's really solid stuff. So like I said, it's I wouldn't say that you know like firepower is like the uh, like the best you know fantasy uh, martial arts series that I've um that I've read, but it is it is fun and. I guess ultimately it's probably like the most fun, you know, series that Kirkman Kirkman has done post invincible and post walking dead. And that's, and that's not nothing. Will, um, void rivals turn out to be as fun. Um, I don't, I'm, I'm honestly not as convinced just yet. So it could, it could be, but you know, firepower is still, is still plenty enjoyable. Even if it won't just, you know, like blow your mind in terms of like you know hey i've never seen something like this before yeah you have but this is a good example of like of a, of a, of a um, familiar formula um done done pretty well here all right well do you know what you're going to be talking about next time well next time is going to be talking about something that i want to talk about talk about last year and that's the wrap-up to uh kaguya sama um love is war and we get to see what happens when, like, one of the best romantic comedies I've read ever, you know, finally um, reaches its conclusion. All right. We'll catch you next time on Comic Picks by the Click. Laters.